guys welcome back to my channel juicy t uncensored now before we get started i just want to inform you that once i hit 100k subscribers on my youtube channel i will be doing a giveaway now i don't know exactly what type of giveaway i will be doing but make sure that y'all like share also subscribe make sure you watch my video fully because i will be giving details of what type of giveaway that i will be doing for y'all now we're going to go and jump into this crazy team now abel is pretty pissed off with jason lee and omarion now mind y'all omarion was on jason lee and he was being interviewed by him and they actually bonged up about um april messing around with little fizz now it didn't sit so well with um april because she feels that she should have been also in an interview so they both can give um the side of the story what really happened in the relationship but she did one live and she really um explained how she really felt about jason lee bringing up the relationship that she had with fizz so now we're gonna go and take a look y'all be sitting here looking at people like well this is tennis and he's a great person you don't fucking know that person you ain't him. you ain't sleep you ain't like stop if a man or a woman does not want to be exposed then start being good to the people that you are with why would you think that a person that you treated like utter is supposed to protect you but that is what we do i refuse to do it anymore i am 36 i'm about to turn 37 and i won't do it anymore if you're a piece of shit, you are definitely a piece of shit. and i won't sit here and try to cover and let's meet in a room and put me on the interview jason lee i hope you guys put that on put me in an interview room and say hey how do you feel how do you feel give it a shot Give it a fair shot because it hasn't been fair to me to hear my name constantly over and over and over and over again. I haven't been able to tell my side. I have literally shut the fuck up. I have taken care of my kids. I have been quiet, but y'all got me. You have got me. You call me what you want to call me. Homie, hopper, sex addict. I'll take it. Don't really give a fuck. Don't care. But I bet you won't put me in the same room. And that's what I'm talking about. Because this is the year of accountability. This is the year of facts. This is the year of not victimization. This is the year of throwing out narcissists. If you are going to protect one, protect the other. Women have got to be protected. Y'all over here protecting these men who are pretty much pretty. Mm, not all. Not all. See, I just my mm, foolish. But. Women have got had to have endured, and I have been one of those multiple, multiple times. Y'all see me with certain people, and you're like, ooh, fuck that. I'm going to tell you right now, it ain't what it appears. I'm going to be honest with you. It is not what it seems like. I'm going to tell you the truth. People are walking around lying and deceiving and manipulating and egotistical. Stop with and it gets to a point when a bitch gets tired. I have not said a word. I have been tired. I have been quiet. But you want this work, I'm going to give it to you. If you want to hold the other side accountable, any interviewers, any blogs, I am here. I stand tall. I stand firm. Give me an opportunity to speak my motherfucking truth and put that other person across from me to say he is. And I bet you what they're saying in that room will not be what it will be when I'm sitting in front of them. And that's what y'all need to do. A good blogger, a good interviewer, a good all of it. Work. Do the job. Interview proper. Do it proper. To the both sides. That's all I'm saying. Give it to the both sides. Give it to the both sides, man. Stop giving it to one side and giving it to the world. Y'all can destroy a person like that. Give it to both sides. But a person will never sit in a room with a person who's real. April does have a point. Hopefully, Jason Lee do have an interview her so she can actually say the side of her story that she's been wanting to say. Yes, it's messed up that she had messed around with Amaria's friend, um, Fizz, but it's two sides to every story, so maybe he should give her a chance and let her explain what really happened between them two and what made her think that it was okay for her to 
wind up being with um little fizz but that didn't turn out well because they both end up breaking up with each other as well but guys leave a comment down below and let me know do y'all agree that april should be on jason lee's show for him to interview to get her side of the story of what really went down with her and omarion and i'll catch y'all next time with another brand new video